Um, hey guys, this is a recording because uh, stream is crashing all the time. I cannot, and I need to start the match already. I'm sorry. I will. I uh, hope to be able to publish this later. I think I have connect connection issues. I hope I can play. Um, I should either. Who's my opponent? My opponent is Erin Yu. Oof, too much stress to start. Too much stress. <laughs> oh, Leech's profile, okay. I need 7 plus 7, okay. I'm sorry, guys. It, it keeps crash. It, it, won't, it wouldn't stream. Okay, my opponent, as you can see, is much higher rated than me, so he's gonna crash me probably. Challenge to a game. Um, it has to be what? Seven plus seven. Rated crazy house, uh, random side. There we go. Ah. Uh. I'm too stressed. I didn't warm up. I didn't prepare anything. He's much higher rated than me. Not in Crazy House, but just because he didn't play much. Okay. Here we go. Uh, black for the first game. Let's hope my, my rating... Gives him fear or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try e5 this game instead of my usual knight f6. Let's see if I can if I can play normal chess. Um, okay. Okay. Mm, things are happening already. Hmm. Uh, D6 seems slow. What about knight e4, knight takes e5? Mm. What about knight takes e4 also? Knight takes e4, bishop takes e7, knight takes e3. Also knight takes f2. So takes... Well, at least he can take this way. So probably not great. I'm not focused at all. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm gonna lose this so badly. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this game so badly, so badly. <sighs> Should have played in another moment. I get to focus. Come on, I'm thinking everything except chess. <sighs> I 
let me close all the windows, let me close the chat, let me close Streamlabs, let me deco Discord, closing Discord. Why can't I close? Okay, closing Discord. Okay, it's just me and the chess now. Okay, me and the chess. I don't mind the C7 pawn. Seems slow. I like it. Okay, at least I need to do it. And then I will think. I have an interesting option of going knight at f4. Uh, sacrifice bishop on at f3. And then try to harass the knight at, d f uh, at a3 with pawn at f4, pawn at d4. I also have knight at d4 now. Instead of knight at f4, just to make some threats and have pawns. I think I'm going to go for that. If he drops something at g4... I take it. Let's see. I'm not calculating. I'm not calculating and that's not good. That's not good news. So bishop at g4 or bishop at Knight at d2, maybe. I don't have anything else to drop. And he will, he will have some knights, but for now... I have important squares protected. Actually, should I remove that? Or can I take with pawn and create some... kind of different problems? Or even bishop takes f3. Okay, let's not remove moves in Crazy House. I don't have the level to remove moves in Crazy House. Bishop at g4 seems normal. And I take it, it's a bishop, and he takes with knight. And now, I think bishop at g2 is interesting. He has knight at h6. I have to be careful with that. But I don't see a huge problem. So, bishop at g2, rook g1, knight takes f3, queen takes, bishop takes knight h6. Not at h6, but knight h6. 
I move out. I think I like it. I'm not 100% sure, but it's not that I can be sure at this point. Well, at least I'm having some initiative. Um, it's probably not enough, and he has pieces in hand. <sighs> but at least I'm having some. Hmm. Okay, this pre-move I can do it. Queen takes f6, I think. But I don't think he's gonna take anyway. He doesn't have knight at h4, and that's good news. Maybe bishop at e2. Or maybe he takes on d4 first to have an, an extra knight. In that case, I might consider to take on f3. No, no, that's too crazy. Knight at h5 could be an option for him to start attacking. Okay, so he goes for that. I thought just this. And he's gonna grab a rook if he takes here, but... So what? So what? I didn't even consider taking the knight, and I don't think it was that terrible. Ah, rook g1 was his idea. Okay, okay. But still, knight takes f3. Oh, knight takes f3, queen takes f3. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So much better king h8, yeah. But it's funny that I didn't even consider taking the knight, and it wasn't that terrible. After takes rook g1, I, sh I should play knight at h4, I guess, with the recently taken knight. And okay, maybe that was playable actually. <sighs> Up on time now. So this guy is 2300. In in all time in all variants and, and time controls he's much higher rated than, than than me. Except in Crazy House. But in Crazy House he, he barely has like 30 games. So I'm probably a bit more experienced. But he's probably better at tactics and Positional play and everything, <laughs> everything related to chess. He's probably better. Okay, now he will drop here to to wing a queen at some point, but I. And he has a knight then, so he has definitely some strong attack, but it's one tempo. He needs to spend one tempo for my attack, so I can drop here or take here. Um, I think I will take first. Because the king is hard that it escapes. And now he needs to, to decide whether to sacrifice the queen or not. But if he sacrifices the queen, he has to be really careful with queen at queen at e2 now. And knight at here. So so there's no rook g8 yet. Maybe there's knight g6, which I missed. But I think I have an, a lot of blockers. So I don't think knight at g6 works either. Mm -hmm. He probably needs to defend. He probably just needs to defend. And I don't have enough material to to attack or to checkmate yet. But still I like I like the position for me. Bishop at f1 maybe. Bishop at f1 could be a move. Mm. Oh no, because knight g2 he can't take. He should have one knight at g2 anyway.
Ein wenig auf Türkin die 2. That rook on a1 is annoying. Uh, bishop g5 check, he blocks. Knight there. Uh -huh. I would love to put a knight on f3. So I think I'm gonna do this because uh, I missed something. Yeah, rook at g8 works now. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I no longer have checkmate threat, so. So he can first grab the queen and then defend. Still, my attack seems strong, and I have one spare move, I think, after rook g8. But I don't see two was interesting because I could just take the rook on a1. Ah, the rooks were defending each other, that was his point, okay. So maybe what I did is not the worst, after all. I really want to do this check. So he wants to drop stuff here, like... Okay, um, this check made in two? Whoa! Yes! Whew. That was huge. That was a huge victory. We should be seven. So he's, he's doing the same. Okay. Ninety five is normal here, I think. Ninety five bishop b three. I've seen an, a game by Antich, he went pong at e six. Actually knight of six is the main move, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't know how how to continue. I guess knight c three, knight c three pong at b four. Um or should I give up the pawn? Let's give out the pawn. If he goes knight takes e4, I go knight f5. <coughs> He's gonna castle though. Probably. Bishop f4, this d6, I think that's the main idea. I'm gonna drop a pawn on h6 if he castles and start having some initiative, but I, I guess after the first game he's gonna try to be a little bit more aggressive here so he might do the same, he might start now with pong at h3 or pong at f3 or something like that pong on h3 I would take it, okay that's interesting really interesting, so knight f5 is my first instinct. Knight f5 takes, takes, and then I have something to draw at e6. Uh, but he will have a knight, but my knight is defending it. No. <laughs> yeah, knight f5 is giving a knight. Okay, taking the pawn is another option, um, but I won't consider it. Let's go for the attack. Okay, as expected. And now he has a knight to drop here, so pawn at h3 makes to all the sense now in the world. If I take, he drops knight here. Now, is that the end of the world? Probably not. So I might do it. The alternative is to drop here. Takes, takes. If he takes with knight, I'm a little bit extra safe. <sighs> so let's consider this. Okay. Drops King H1. 
if he if he's able to take a pawn, I might be lost. But I don't see how does he take a pawn in that position. How does he? Oh, maybe he drops here actually. After takes drops here, then I drop a g2, then he sacks. And if I take, he drops here a pawn. But I probably don't take, but then he's gonna defend that pawn. So, okay, takes, drop knight here. I'm gonna do it. I can drop bishop or pawn. And if I drop pawn and he takes it, it's just a knight that is threatening nothing. So I can start dropping here, right? I might be confused. I might be confused. Okay, so I'm expecting anyway knight at, knight at h4. I think that's the most critical. And I will need to drop here to prevent problems. Maybe I can prevent it some other fashion. There are other ways to defend f3. Like, okay, a crazy one would be... The, oh, so he went for that. Okay, uh, only move. And now what's his plan? He's going to be crazy to take a pawn or a bishop. So let's see how, how does he do it. Maybe knight here. Queen there, attacking this guy. Okay, so if I drop here, of course, now he's gonna take pawns. Surely that's a good idea by him. Mm -hmm. So can I sack queen for knight? That's one idea. Another idea is to make this pawn really expensive, but he's gonna take it anyway because he has checkmating ideas. After drops, takes, here, check, I go back to h1. So it all depends on how many pawns do I give up. But if I drop here, he takes with knight. That's easiest for him. If I drop here, he takes two pawns. But that's an interesting idea. Drop, takes, 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 bishop at g4. Ah, oh, no, he has two knights there. Let's keep it safe. <laughs> I could have dropped here first and then do that. I'm stupid. Uh, never mind. He didn't take it. I, th I think he could take here and, and here or maybe here immediately. Um, okay, now I'm, I'm really tempted to drop upon here. Uh, he wants to sack here at some point, but... Okay, if I drop here, takes, takes, takes... What is my follow-up? Bishop at g3? I don't feel it. If he sacks on g2, what's his follow-up? Anyway. I'm gonna think he doesn't have a strong, strong threat, although I missed this move. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is going nuts now. Let's play fast as if I calculated it. Now knight takes, I have to take. Knight takes here has no threat yet, but it will. It will. Okay, I really want to take here now. And that's a defender, okay. I can drop pawn here, I can drop pawn here. Well, actually this is a threat. <laughs> okay, if I drop pawn here he's gonna he's gonna take. Um probably 
I can do this too. What about this? He's up on time. Probably Pong at d7 first was interesting. Um, Pong here, maybe? But I trade queens. It's not the end of the world. Is it? And my bishop is great at e4. I like bishop at d5 very much. Uh, he might try something crazy like pawn at f3. No, but bishop takes e4, defends g2. I have everything in this position. Queen must move. His queen must move. The queen trade is good for me. I'm going to take anything on d1. And where does the queen go? I mean, queen takes g2? Nah. Queen takes g2 is not, not a possibility, is it? Okay, queen takes g2, I need to remove this, I can't remove. Um, queen f5, maybe? Yeah, queen f5, okay, makes sense. Okay. Mm. Really want to keep attacking that queen. So knight d4, knight g3. Knight at g3 is interesting. Where is the queen going again? d7 bishop takes b7 is interesting bishop takes b7 is really interesting knight takes g2 I take it with the bishop pawn at e4 now pawn at g4 Knight at e3 and defending g5, not a good idea. Okay, let's let's bring a knight here. And okay, if you do queen c8 to defend b7, I'm I'm happy because that's the last pawn I want to take. Queen d7 instead, which is expected, sort of. And now, bishop f4. Okay, I need to start playing fast. I miss that. He might have missed this. And this seems pretty winning now. Incredibly winning. He has to give up the full queen to have some counterplay. Or that, yeah. <laughs> um, and I think I can take it. I don't see anything wrong with taking a queen. Okay, this will defend e6. Oh, what? Uh, what if I just... Oh, he has the knight protecting f5, okay. Not so fast, Pepe. Queen at here? No. Okay, let's, let's calculate the sacrifice. Where do I do the next check? Pawn here. Pawn here. Oh, 
Tongat here. If he takes, I have knight here, and that should be made. If he does not take, he has to go back or there. Pawn at here. He goes here. How many pawns do I have? <laughs> three, right? Three. So one, two, three, or three. And then I can still drop the queen. I need one more pawn to do this sacrifice. I need to start looking for a move, guys. Why would I give the queen? There might be a better move. I didn't see a better move. <laughs> I'm realizing c7 is attacked by my bishop, so he has to go to the other side. And now... Check, check, takes check. I screwed this, guys. I screwed this up. This is the extra pawn I need. Because he has no check now, I have a chance. I have a shot. Let's try. It's not working, guys. It's not working. <laughs> I missed it. I missed it, guys. I need a pawn or a bishop now. Um, I just missed it. Have nothing. That was that was so terrible. That was so terrible. <sighs> he can't even take. I mean, uh, I don't have anything. I don't even have a rook in hand anymore. I don't have a resign button. But if I had, I would resign immediately right now. What I did is just ugly, stupid, incredibly shitty. <laughs> No, wait, if he takes with knight, well, it doesn't matter anymore. Does it? No, actually, he takes with knight, I should resign. I guess this is resignable too. He's gonna check somewhere. I need to block. Yeah, queen here also. <sighs> yeah, I'm so mad at myself. What, what the fuck did I do? <sighs> How do I resign? Okay, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll allow the checkmate. Okay, that was it guys. I'm sorry about this terrible chess. <laughs>